today we are on a mission to find the best ramen in Tokyo. Now, I know ramen is a very personal, subjective dish, but here's my ranking. We are currently in a subway station, and you might be wondering, how are we gonna get some of the best ramen in a subway station? But some of the best ramen in this city is in Tokyo Station. So first up, we are gonna check out Roku Rinsha. I'm really excited to try it. They're supposed to have some really good ramen. Let's go. Right down this path right here, you have Ramen Street, and it's filled with all different types of ramen stores. We are going to the one on the corner, which is Roku Rinsha. The line is so long, it wraps around the corner, so I just feel like this is gonna be some of the best ramen that I have personally ever had. We've just been using Google Translate, so a lot of the signs here are not in English, which obviously. So Amir will go on Google Translate, and it's really cool because it will just translate what you're reading for you on your phone. Average size, special portion. You want special portion, then you're with everything. have English when you order. So when you order, you just go to the screen. The vending machine. Yeah, when you go to the vending machine, uh, they have English as an option for the screen, which is really, really cool because not every place has that. So it's cool if you speak English. Oh. We're just now sitting down, and the line took about an hour, which sounds like a really long time, but it went by really fast. Yeah, it did. Yeah. We got the regular size. You can get regular, you can get large, and you can get extra large. We're gonna be having a lot of ramen today, so we decided to get the regular size. Roku Rinsha specializes in sukemen ramen, which is a type of ramen where the noodles are consumed after being dipped in a separate bowl of broth. You like? So good. The broth is a mixture of pork, mackerel, sardines, and veggies, and it's cooked for over 13 hours. When I took the first bite, you can taste the fishiness, but then you taste the pork and the veggies about at the same time. It's really tasty. And I really like the sukumen broth because it's really thick. It's almost like um, between a thin broth and a thin gravy, if that makes any sense. It has like kind of like a gravy texture, but it's really, really yummy. It's not overly rich, it's perfect. And the noodles are very thick and chewy and it completely absorbs all of the broth. Now there are bamboo shoots and it gives it a little bit of crunch when you mix it in and it just adds a little bit of texture to the soup. That ramen was delicious. Now I've never had sukumen ramen before so I thought the fact that when I first got it it was warm when I put the cold noodles inside of the broth it was nice and warm and then by the end it got significantly cooler and I actually liked that because the, the flavor profiles changed throughout the duration of me eating the soup and it was so yummy. I never got tired of the taste. From beginning to end, I enjoyed it just as much as when I started eating it. So I would recommend that place. That place is good. Oh man, oh. 
So we just got to Shinjuku, which some would say is the heart and soul of ramen in Tokyo. Now we're gonna go to a ramen shop called Ebisoba Ichigen, which uses a combo of shrimp and pork broth, which I'm really excited to try because I have never had that before, let alone in Tokyo. So let's head in. We were able to choose from three broths, salt, miso, and soy sauce. Their miso has a moderate richness, so that's why we chose to go with the miso broth. Let's try this ramen. It smells divine. If I closed my eyes, I would think that I am smelling like shrimp pasta. So far, out of all of the ramens that I've ever had, this one resembles spaghetti the most. It's a lot lighter than the noodles that are really, really chewy and thick, which I like. Now, this broth really reminds me of a bisque because you can taste the shrimp. You have the subtle flavors from the pork bones and then you get the saltiness from the miso and it just all comes together beautifully. This egg looks so divine. It's so vibrant. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but from what I'm seeing in real life, the, the yolk is so orange and then the outside of the egg is just kind of like jello-like. You still have all of the flavor from the yolk, but then the egg white has absorbed all of the flavor from the broth. So this is a really good egg. Mm. And then much like the egg white, the cha su has completely absorbed all of the flavor from the broth. But it's very tender, so it's very yummy. It is 5 p.m. We are now two ramen bowls down. We have two more to go. I am stuffed. Like, I consider myself as someone who could eat a lot of food, but eating back-to-back -back ramen, it's a lot. And I'm only halfway through. I need to walk a little bit after having two ramen bowls. <laughs> but I do want to say that ramen was really good. This is my favorite ramen that we've had today. I don't see another ramen beating that one, but hey, you never know. I was surprised. I didn't think it would get better after the first ramen that we had, and it did. So I'm excited to see what else is in store. out we're sitting in cubicles which is actually really cool I feel like this makes the experience really intimate with the ramen what I really liked about this was that you can pick how firm you want the noodles and I think there was like five options from extra firm to soft and I love it when it's really firm so I'm excited to try the extra firm noodles yeah I got medium I kind of got everything that they suggested except garlic I love garlic so I did opt for more garlic than the recommended amount Ichiran specializes in tonkatsu ramen and uses premium ingredients, which is why I think this ramen is so good. The broth is creamy and spicy and just simply delicious. I can't say it yet, it's a little bit premature, but so far, this is my favorite ramen that we've had today. This is really good. You say that about every place you go. Yeah, but this is the best. <laughs> this is the best, for sure. I've got to agree. Yeah, yeah. You know, to be fair, I was dreading this meal a little bit because I've already had two bowls of ramen today. And that's how you know this is actually really good because I've already had two bowls and this is still my favorite ramen so far. Like I said, I might be a little bit premature, but I don't think so. The reason that the yolk in the egg is so rich in color is because the chickens are fed in Japan 
a high amount of keratin. So you're getting healthier eggs all around in your ramen. You want to try to go This is the first, the first ramen place that we've been to where I wish that I had more noodles in my bowl. And you know, it is crazy because when I was doing research for ramen places, um, it was like 50-50. Some people said that they loved Ichiran and some people said that they thought it was completely overrated. And if you do think it's overrated, I would like to know why because I feel like this is the best ramen that I have ever had. different day. I couldn't do the last bowl of ramen. I was so full after Ichiran, even though I had enough room in my stomach to have another bowl of Ichiran. We didn't. We left because we were the last people in, but it's a new day. I'm trying our final destination for ramen called Tayo no Tomato Men. And it's a tomato-based ramen. So it'll be very different from the other ramens that we had. We wanted to switch it up a bit. And this is in their Kinshi location. They have multiple locations throughout Tokyo. This place has really good reviews online, so I'm very excited to try it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be different. It's gonna be something a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> She's very, very sweet. <laughs> now, this broth is a chicken and tomato base. <laughs> Yeah. It's delicious. For me, it's like a cross between like a, a ramen and some Italian Napolitano spaghetti dish, and it's not so heavy like um, other other ramen dishes. It's super light and uh, it feels kind of healthy because there's a lot of tomatoes in there. Yeah. Now online, it says that they use low-fat chicken to make the broth which I think is really cool because then you kind of get more of a thinner consistency. As the soup cools off, it's not gonna form that fatty layer above the top of the soup, which I think is great. And the broth is not rich. It's more citrusy, I would say. Here's the chicken. just completely soaks up the flavor of the tomato from the broth. So yummy. This egg, you get so much flavor of the yolk, but then it's like the, the egg white is actually pretty thin on the outside of the egg, and that just soaks up the flavor of the tomato, but then you also get the chicken broth in there. Now, the egg was also soaked in soy sauce, so it's a little bit saltier, but not overpowering. I've been dying to have gyoza and ramen together, so we decided to bite the bullet and get some gyoza. <laughs> The bottom is nice and crispy, and then the top isn't too thick. It's actually pretty thin, so you really get the flavor, but I think it's onion in there with chicken. It's delicious. Wow. And because the skin of the gyoza is on the thinner side, I ordered six, but I think I could easily have like 12 of these. I do want to confess, I was a little bit 
worried that I'm, I'm not a huge tomato gal. <laughs> like, I like pizza, but pasta, like tomato based pasta, is not my favorite. So I was a little bit worried that the tomato was going to be a little bit too strong, but it's not in any way, shape, or form. If you're not a huge tomato person and you come here, you, I promise you, you will still love this ramen. It's a good balance between the tomato and the chicken and the broth. Not only was that ramen delicious, but the vibe inside was so good. Everybody was so sweet that worked there and it was just very welcoming. So that was probably one of my favorite parts about the restaurant besides the ramen and the gyoza. Now, I know ramen is a very personal, subjective dish, but here's my ranking. Coming in last place, we have Roku Rinsha. Nevertheless, still an incredible bowl of ramen. If you enjoy a rich broth and noodles you can really sink your teeth into, this is the ramen for you. Coming in at number three, we have Ebi Soba Ichigen. This ramen had a smooth, creamy broth and truly reminded me of a shrimp pasta. Now number two, Tayo no Tomato Men really surprised me. This bowl of ramen was light but savory from the chicken and tomato broth. I could have easily had two bowls. At number one, we have Ichiran. You can really cut customize this bowl to your taste buds when ordering, and I got exactly the taste of ramen best suited for me. It was incredible, and I'll be thinking about this ramen for the rest of my life. I enjoyed eating so much ramen over the past 24 hours. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.